Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. It's Kai here. Today I am standing in front of my figure cases, which means I'm finally doing a figure collection video for you guys. I feel like honestly for now my figure collection is in a pretty good place. My first year of buying and collecting, I got so much and I've slowed down a lot recently. And I think I'll continue to slow down until at least I get another case. Um, so I wanted to go ahead and just show you what I have. I am missing one figure which has been on pre-order for like, I kid you not, like a year and a half. And I'll go ahead and show that right here for you guys. It is a Melum figure. I'm super excited for when it finally does come, if it ever comes. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> um, throughout this video, I'm going to try my hardest to put the names of the figures on the screen for you guys. So if you would like to purchase the figure, you can. Um, but if not, I apologize. Sometimes the titles are really weird and hard to find and they're different for each website. Most of my figures are Kotobukiya, are artifacts, but there are definitely some outliers. If you want to see any other figure collection videos, or like which websites I use or you want to do like a general Q&A on collecting figures or anything like that, go ahead and let me know in the comments down below as well as hitting that subscribe button and let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so starting out, these are my two cases. This is what it looks like. Um, I want to get some lights installed just to sort of make it like all pop and put together. As you can tell, there's sort of a system to this madness. This case is obviously much more filled um, than that case, but just on the top I have like manga, I have the JJK Zero um, box set, a Haikyuu replica, and some acrylic stands, pops, all that sort of stuff. Um, and yeah, so this is just a little overview. Okay, so starting off, this is the first shelf of the first case. I um, very obviously have an affinity to a specific Demon Slayer character, and that is Zenitsu. <laughs> um, so I have this like little Onigiri sitting one that honestly fits perfectly on uh, in my case that I just got. I have this little pop-up parade. Um, I honestly got this for free because I canceled the order and they still sent it, so I'm not mad about that. I have this one. This one is probably my favorite. I love the effects on this one. I believe this is an artifact, but again, like I said, I'll be putting everything on the screen. I have this one, very simple. This was probably my first little Zenitsu, and you can tell like the ones I got at the beginning of collecting because they're much uh, more simple than the other ones. I also have some acrylic little pop-ups that I got from, um, I believe I got them from an Asian grocery store, um, and I'm blanking on the name, but they were like little blind boxes, as well as a little Zenitsu plushie and the Demon Slayer Mugen Train box set. And I love the way this shelf came together, honestly. I think I could use some more like little chibi things, but overall, I love this shelf. And moving down to shelf number two, which also happens to be my favorite. Um, this is my one piece shelf. I have so many one piece figures. So starting out at the bottom here, I have some of the little Nika, the, like little Neko cats. So I have all of the original series as well as one from the new villain series, which is Eno. Um, and I also have this little Barto figure here. I love Bartolomeo so much, and unfortunately I haven't really found any full-size figures with it for him, but I thought it looked cute. And then moving on to the full scale, I have the matching set of the Zoro and Luffy. I want to get the Nami, but the prices have gone significantly up. And as you can tell, I literally have no more room for any more One Piece uh, figures, but I love this one. I love the detailing on the little treasure map, as well as the little chopper in his little samurai outfit. I love these two figures. They don't connect super well, um, but overall, still a fan. 
this little chopper, the little Wano Samurai Chopper I got for, I believe, my birthday last, last year from a friend. And he is so cute. I love the height on him and just the detailing. And next to him is actually my very first One Piece figure. And it is one of my favorite outfits for Luffy. It is his Strong World outfit. And I love the dynamic pose on this. His little bat, a little like um, canteen, his bag, the hat, the facial expression. Overall, I absolutely love this figure. And then behind him, I have Boa. I love this figure because I have the matching cosplay. Um, so I got this at a convention and the pose is really fun. And behind him, or behind her, I have a Wano Zoro, just like a simple figure. And then behind, I have the Yamato Grand Line figure. Uh, just classic, simple pose. I got this at Anime Pasadena in one of my blind bags. And so I had one extra space and I threw her back, him back there. Um, so he looks great. I love it. I think the colors are really amazing. And I have a lot of Wano outfits that I'm just now realizing. And then behind this Zoro, I have my other favorite Luffy figure, which is him and his Kong um, form and his balloon man doing the King Kong fist. I love the effects on this. I love the shading. I love the coloring. I love the size. The cloud at the bottom is amazing. Overall, honestly, 10 out of 10 figure. And we're running through this fast because my collection's pretty big. Um, but yeah, that's the One Piece shelf. And this case, you'll notice, goes a lot more on show than my other case. Um, but next is my Naruto shelf. This one is not my favorite, I'll be honest. Um, I definitely want to get some more effects going on here, but I have these like three little Chibi, Kakashi, Naruto, and Itachi figures, and this one's leaning, which is great. Um, I also have this little tiny Kiba that's chilling, and I have this Naruto when he has like his little scroll. I love the effects and the Rasengan in his hand. Behind him, my figure is actually a little bit broken back there, but I have my Gara. Um, I love the sand effect. And then obviously, as you can tell, I love Kakashi. Um, I'll never say no to a white-haired sensei. So I just have this one where he has his Chidori, and then in the back one is actually my favorite um, from the shelf. It's him with his little Anbu, and he's on a tree branch, and the base is actually really cool. Um, it says Hitaki uh, Kakashi, and then just in front there I have the Itachi uh, on Boo, and I feel like those go really well together. Like I said, this one's not my favorite um, of them all. These are pretty simple figures. This one is kind of like a mishmash, um, but I do love all of these figures. Um, I definitely think if I get a third one, I'm going to highlight these a little better than they are now. Um, but here I have the little kimono version of Rimuru. I love that time I got reincarnated into a slime, but a lot of their figures are not my favorite because their faces are a little bit weird. But this one I absolutely loved. Um, the kimono and the flow of it is phenomenal. Um, and then next to it, I have a Senku figure. This figure is... Honestly, another one of my favorites. I love the effects. I mean, like you can see the little potions on the bottom here, the rocks, just like all the effects for this figure are just 10 out of 10. Um, I think it really highlights the character and it looks really, really cool. Um, behind that is a Levi figure. Um, I love the blood detailing on him as well as the base. I love Levi, he's my favorite from the show, so this is honestly top five favorite figures that I have in my collection. And then behind that, I have a Link figure from Breath of the Wild. The base is probably my least favorite part just because it's a little bit big and bulky. It obviously makes sense with the game, but I think they could have made it a little smaller. But the detailing in the bow and everything else on this figure are honestly 10 out of 10. He looks so amazing, and he is a little bit large for my collection, but definitely worth it. And then I also have this, like, 
rated R Zoro figure. Obviously, I have him clothed, but he is one of the ones where you can like take the clothes off and add a, you know what, onto him and he would be naked. I got this for Christmas and I love him so much. He is a little bit large, which is why he's down here because there's no room on the one piece shelf, but the detail is amazing on the base, the clothes, the abs, the scar, the face, the everything. They did my king justice. Whew, I feel like I'm out of breath. Moving on to the second case, I used to have the JJK um, Volume Zero on this first shelf with everything else, but I uh, ran out of room. So I have this JJK shelf here. Um, this Gojo figure is honestly super detailed, one of my favorites. Um, I love the like little droplet feature that they have as well as the face, which is actually a manga cover. I'm not sure which volume, um, but I know that that is what that's based off of. And then next to him, I have Megami with the owls. I can't remember the name, sue me. I'm sorry, but the effects are really cool. I got this as like a little early birthday, late Christmas present. And I really think it pairs really well with this Megami figure where he has his divine dog. Um, he doesn't have the black one in this one, but I think overall it still looks really cool. And the base looks really cool. It's a good contrast. I'm sorry that the only words I could say are cool. <laughs> um, and then I also have this little Chibi Megami and Chibi Nanami, as well as a Nanami plushie and a little simple Nanami figure. Um, as you can tell, these are my favorites from the show. Um, I sh want to get more Nanami figures, but I haven't seen a lot that are super detailed like the Megami and the Gojo figures are. This case is less show oriented than my other one. So this is my fire effects shelf and shout out to my friend Jaren for inspiring this. Um, but I have a Benimaru from Fire Force figure. I want to get this Shinra as well, but I only have him. And he's also part of the reason why I want to get lights built in because this is reactive to black light. The flames um, sort of glow under the black light. Um, but I love the height of this figure, especially next to my other ones. Uh, they did a really, really good job with this one. And next to him, I have my Natsu figure. This one, I absolutely adore the only thing i don't like is the aftermarket price because if you notice very closely there are two holes back there for the lucy and the happy but they are very expensive so this one was like 300 dollars, and to add the lucy and the happy is also 300 dollars. so he's saying solo for now but that's rough buddy i still like it i love the base that's probably my favorite part the face sculpt isn't my favorite, but the base as well as the fire effects more than make up for that, which is why I purchased it. And then next to him is Zuko. I love the movement of this figure. The pose is spot on and the fire effects are absolutely beautifully crafted. We're on the second to last shelf is my Haikyuu shelf. Um, I am not a huge Nendoroid fan. In fact, this is the only shelf you'll find Nendoroids because Haikyuu figures are so difficult, move my lights down, are so difficult to find. Um, they have some pop-up parades, but I'm honestly not the biggest fan of pop-up parades. Um, so we're settling for Nendoroids. Uh, first of all, I have this really pretty um, manga back here. I can't read it, it's all in Japanese, but the cover, I'm sure you can see just it dancing on the light here. It's gorgeous. It has like a gold foil. So I was like, I can't not get this. Um, I have a Bokuto figure back here. I love him, so I had to get this figure. <laughs> I am the best volleyball player ever! Yeah! Hey, hey, hey! Even though it's not the most detailed. And then below I have like a little chibi figure of him. And then I have all my nindroids. 
So we have Osamu, another Bokuto, of course his boyfriend, Atsuma, Hinata with his little rice bowl, Daichi, Nishinoya, and Tanaka. Damn, that's a grown ass man! I hear he's been held back five times. He's gotta be at least 30. That's crazy. <laughs> I love all of these characters so much. Of course, there are tons of characters I love that I don't have Nendoroids for yet, um, but I'm hoping to get like a little stand and getting another layer of Nendoroids is probably where I think the most growth will happen in my figure collection as of now. This is my like sort of MC random amalgamation shelf. No idea where to put them. Um, first of all, I have this Soma Yukihira uh, figure from Food Wars. I love him. Um, this honestly, surprisingly, is one of my more expensive figures because of the aftermarket um, price. And Food Wars doesn't have a ton of figures, but I loved the character. And even though it's not the most complex and the face is not my favorite, I decided to get him anyway. And then I have Lucy in her Taurus form Papa Parade because I have the cosplay, so I do like to match my cosplays and figures whenever I can just because I think it's a really fun way to bring about both my hobbies. And then we have Tengen. I love this figure. Um, the paint detailing on the swords and his face. I mean, they made his figure flashy, just like the character. <laughs> And so I love him so much. I just didn't have room on my Zenitsu sh shrine, so he's down here chilling. Next, we have Asta. Obviously, I have a cat named Asta, so I couldn't not get a figure of my little boy. It's very simple. Um, I wish, honestly, I think they could have some really cool effect figures for him, but they don't, unfortunately. Um, but uh, fingers crossed that we'll get better. Asta figures and some Yami figures because I love Yami. Next, we have the Shield Hero. I haven't watched the second season because it was a little bit boring, um, but I loved the first season, so I just have this like now Fumi pop up parade. And then I have a Krolo figure. I love the shape of the base. Because you know I'm all about that base, about that base. Um, for these, I actually have a lot of those shapes. Um, they do tend to take up a little bit of room, but I still think they're a cool feature. And that is it. That's that's my figure collection, everybody. All right, so that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more of me, go ahead and follow me on social media. I'll go ahead and put a little thing here on the bottom of the screen, as well as in the description box for you guys to keep up with me. And I think that's it. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye.